This song, Hypovolemia, is without a doubt the masterpiece of Double Think. This is the song that I am most proud of and uh, I, I am almost in awe that we actually wrote. When I listened to it back, um, the, the, the two versions on here, there's, there's the, uh, the studio version that was released on Dawn, Genequa, and then the live version on the second disc, uh, both of them, I'm just like, fuck, I'm like, I can't even believe that I was actually in this band that played this song, that wrote this song. It's just, it's, it's astounding to me that we actually did this, um, because it's just such a great, great song. So, um, it started out because Eric, uh, was just getting into, uh, the album Disintegration by The Cure, and uh, all the songs in Disintegration are fucking eight minutes long or some shit. And <laughs> it's a great album, one of my favorites. But, uh, you know, lots and lots of really long songs and lots of long intros. And uh, Eric was really, really into it. And uh, he was like, we need to do something like this, you know, something along these lines. And I was like, I'm all for it. Like, that sounds great. So we came up with the idea of, like, having this this intricate long opening to a song but then having a normal song at the end of it the idea being that we could sort of play it as a cop out we could record the we could record the full seven and a half or whatever six and a half minute long song and then if the song itself was something that people wanted to listen to we could just truncate it and make it into a regular song that just starts you know without the long intro that was the idea. So uh, we could choose whether or not we wanted to play the long version or the short version. That was what we, what we decided to do. Um, so we recorded, we, we, we made some ideas and we came up with the intro and then the song itself kind of just fell together. I mean, it was, it was we worked all day on it and by the end of it, we had this six and a half, seven minute long just opus of just like, wow, like this is exactly what we were trying to do. You know, when we were sitting around after seeing Red was over and we were trying to figure out what the new direction was going to be, no one would have known it at the time, but this is what we wanted to do. Like that, that this was the direction that we were going in. And, uh, it was, uh, you know, this amazing, powerful, powerful, powerful song. Uh, so at the time when we were writing the song, I was going through a breakup and it was easily the hardest breakup that I've ever had to go through ever. And, um, I, a lot of the songs on, on Don Genequa relate to this breakup. And um, this song in particular was the hardest for me to write because I was trying to get in the headspace of what it would be like to, like the, the, the way that I could get control of my life again in, in, in the most powerful way. How could I send a message of how I felt about this breakup in, in musical form? And I thought to myself that a lot of people, what they do is they think to themselves that if they, if they commit suicide, if they kill themselves, that's going to send the message the hardest. That's going to be like, Hey, like I am so upset by this and so destroyed that I'm just going to actually end my life and it's going to be your fault and you're going to feel horrible. And it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. But I, in that headspace, I was thinking to myself, like, that's what it feels like. You, you feel like you're, you're so powerless that the only thing that you can do to like send the message home is to just end your life. And I didn't do it, obviously, and I didn't make the attempt to do it. But I wrote the song in that headspace. It was almost like this song, in a way, saved my life because I was writing it, we were playing it, and I was feeling that energy get across and not actually fathoming, actually doing what the song is talking about. So uh, even the term hypovolemia is is the medical term for when somebody dies from blood loss. And lots of references are made to, in the song about blood loss and like, you know, dying of lack of blood and whatever. So very dark, very emotional song. And um, in the recorded version, you get a lot of the musical nuance that was happening in the track and a lot of the great ideas that we had, um, lots of cool vocal sounds. There's lots of subtle stuff going on that we recorded. Um, there's uh, interesting guitar lines that kind of make no sense. There's lots of noise and whatever. Um, so you get that across with the studio version, but then the live version on the second disc really gets across like the raw emotion of just like 
you know, really, really being at the very, very most rock bottom that you've ever been in your entire life and then writing a song about it. And uh, yeah, I think that this song is quite honestly, I, I think it's one of the, not only is it one of the things that I'm the most proud of that Double Think did, but I think it's one of the mo things that I'm most proud of that I've ever done because I really put myself out there and I really wrote straight from the heart and put it all together in, into something positive. You know, I, I, I looked at this horrible situation and how devastated I was and built something amazing out of it. And um, that happens very rarely in your life, I think, in anybody's life. And, uh, and for me, it was this song. Hey everyone, this is Scott from Double Thing. Is this one of your favorite songs? Leave a comment about it below. I hope you're enjoying these track-by-track -track videos for all the songs on the new collection of Double Think music called Keep the Wolves at Bay. If you would like to get a copy of this retrospective album, please click the link in the description of this video to head to our Indiegogo page where you'll be able to reserve your copy. Hope to see you guys soon.